Hi, I'm Tony from Tony Sourcing. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you how to import from China. Total four steps to make your business grow up fast. This is my YouTube channel. I'm Tony. In this channel, I will keep sharing information of toy business, new toys items, toy manufacturer, importing knowledge. If you are interested, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel now, so you can get my video update every week. Import step 1. Supply. Now it's very easy for you to source a suppliers for any items online and offline. For online sourcing, you can search it on Alibaba.com of other online sourcing companies. Go to Alibaba.com, just type the keyword the more detail you type, the more right item you will find. For example, if you plan to search for a plush beer with a flag design, then click Alibaba.com, type beer plus flag. Then you will find quite a lot of options to choose from, and then send a request to the supplier. If you plan to source toys item, you can try TonySourcing.com we supply all kinds of different toys. Click the link in the below description. You can fill up your email to subscribe to our newsletters. Then we will send you back an email with our new 500 toy e-catalog. If you do not find the item you want in the catalog, no worry, behind Tony Sourcing, there's over 5,000 China toy manufacturers. You can go to our website, send your toy requirement. We will source manufacturer and do one-stop supply for you. For offline supply, EU Market is a great place for you to visit and check the sample then order directly. For example, toy session in EU Market, that's over 2,000 suppliers supply plastic toys, electronic toys, inflatable toys, navy toys. To get a better view of this market, you can view my preview video about it. It's very great for a new business starters. Another place I will introduce to you is Shantou Toy Showroom. Here you can find more premier quality and packaging toys. For each kind of toys, you can find over 10 different packaging. So you can choose which packaging is suitable for your selling market. For more detail, you can go to my video about the Shantou Toy Showroom. Actually, the e-catalog about 500 new toys we will send to you mostly come from this place. Import step 2. Export. After your supplier is ready to deliver the goods, they will arrange export from China customs. What they need to do is, number one, transport the goods by container to China export seaport. Number two, send the paper document to China customs. Number three, do the container goods declaration. This is to tell China customs what is your goods and apply to export. This export process normally is handled by suppliers. This part cost, we call it inland charge. Normally, one 20-foot container inland charge is about 700 USD dollars. One 40-foot or 40 high cube container inland charge is about 1,100 USD. Normally, when you say FOB payment turn, the FOB is goods cost plus inland charge. When supplier put FOB, is they divide the inland charge into each unit piece to get unit FOB price. Import step three, transportation. After the goods containers is ready on the China export port, the shipping company will take over the container and load it into the boat, then transport it to your country import port. To book container shipping, you can use your own shipping agent to book it off. Just ask your suppliers to book. Of course, you can compare the shipping rate first, then decide for import port. Normally, it's to choose the seaport which is near your location. For example, if you are located in the west of the USA, then you can use Los Angeles of Long Beach. If you are located in the east of the USA, you can use New York port of Houston port. 
your shipping agent won't give you the advance to which, which one. Import step 4 Import Goods container arrive your seaport. You need a shipping agent of eCorp brokers who will send your goods document to custom and do the import process for you. Normally, they will ask for documents. Bill or loading, packing list, commercial invoice, and sign a necessary certificate. All these four documents will be provided by the suppliers of your goods. After that, your shipping agent will give you the bill, including import fee, handling fee, import duty test fee, and finally, they transport the goods from the seaport to a warehouse. So before you start the business transaction, you can find and check a shipping agent to give you the properly cost, then you can control your cost. If you do not have a shipping agent, you can search in Google shipping agent or broker. It's better to have the brokers of shipping agent in your local place. Okay, Avant is the first step for the import process. Do you have any question about import? Just leave a comment below and we will answer. Thank you.